G'day and welcome to Mark and Sam After Work. Um, today I've got another quick product video for you. Um, what I've got is a new bag rider. Now we'll start with the basics. Um, this is a rifle which is the um, an MDT chassis uh, which is the LSS chassis which has one of our bag riders on the back here. This is it fitted. Um, this is what that bag rider starts like. Uh, my raw product It's an aluminium. It's got the angle on the back of it with holes drilled to suit a couple of different chassis. So the LSS chassis and the um, ESS chassis. So that's that bag rider there. What we did with this, we found there are quite a few requests and there's places previously where I've looked for different bag riders um, and I've produced this one here. So it's this bag rider here. I'll, that's just in its coated form. I'll put that down so you can see the, uh, this is the raw form so it's a bit easier to see I think. It's still cut out of the same aluminium round and it's changed to the fact that it's a full flat top to it um, and then I have these drillings here, all these holes that are spaced out at the normal places you're going to find on most systems because they're spaced out at 10 millimeter increments um, which suit the Picatinny rails. So for the rifles, like the uh, bottom of some of the um, XLR chassis, like the bottom of a HSS chassis, sorry of a um, of a Howard chassis, the likes of the Tika, um, Take One chassis, that sort of thing. All of those in their butt stock, they have either a Picatinny rail already mounted, or that you could unmount. Uh, you could you could remove that and use the same bolt to line up on there and position it to where you want it to be, um, or where you've got a Picatinny rail on the base of your butt stock. You could put a quick release attachment, which they're also spaced to suit those sort, most of those sort of holes. You could mount this to this to be able to quick release it on and off. It is a universal mount. Uh, we'll provide it with some basic screws and things to mount up. You might need to get screws to do that, but it's designed to go on all those. We don't have all those sorts of chassis here. Uh, we will test it over and use it in different places, but certainly over the years of making bits and pieces to go on there, um, where be it with a quick attach mount, fitted to this which we will put on the site to buy them here you can obviously buy them on ebay and that side of things as well but we'll have that to where you'll be able to attach that to that unit as well um, or buy it on this or if you've got your own put it on there or we're removing the picatinny rail and then screwing this straight to the bottom of your buttstock um, that's the way i tend to use it i want it to be fixed and solid the the way of using the quick attach gives you a bit more height if you're chasing a bit more depth or sits at a bit lower I should say. So if you're chasing a bit more depth in your butt stock that will give it that. It also makes it removable for if you've got multiple rifles you want to sit it on or in a place where you want to use the rifle without the without the bag rider and with the bag rider gives you those choices. So anyway it's just a new product that we've brought in. Um, they will be coated same as these ones they're coated in a graphite black um, Cerakote but it should suit all a lot of those chassis that have it. Check it out, do some measuring. They're spaced at 10 mil intervals, these holes. So 10 mil, 20 mil, 30 mil, 40 mil, 50 mil, and 60 mil spaces, which should line up with most holes on the bottom there. And like I said, we'll provide it with some screws. You might need to find the ones to suit your thread, but hopefully that um, fills the place of the questions we're getting from the marketplace um, as a universal bag rider. Anyway, thanks for checking us out. And we'll catch you next time.